If anybody had told me that I would run a business years ago, I'd have said not at all. Not on my game plan, wasn't planning to do it. If anybody had said I would be involved in education years ago, I'd have said no. You leave school and then you go off and do something else. I'm not going to stay in education. Uh, but what, when I went into business in 1985, I went into the public relations business. I wanted to do public relations. I wanted to publicise what people were doing. I wanted to work in the media, which was a completely different creature to the media now. As I got through it, I found that I got more involved in the Institute. This is really how not to get into a business, okay? I got more involved in the Institute and I got more involved on in the education side. Would you lecture? Would you share what you're doing with your own business? And by 1991, I thought, it's a pretty crazy kind of a thing. You can study public relations in Dublin, but you can't study it anywhere else around the country. And you couldn't. It was Dublin-centric. And I am a dub, and I am dub-centric. But I thought, that's a bit crazy. So nobody else was interested in doing it. So I formed the Irish Academy of Public Relations. But when we started teaching the courses, after a while, we built the courses up to HETAC level eight, which is a heck of an achievement altogether, and then found that actually it's a very small market. And Ireland is a very small market. So maybe we should start looking to see what else could we do. So we started developing online courses. And we developed the online courses, and that just became a whole creature in itself altogether. Because once you start developing online and you start looking outside of Ireland, you then start looking at, at what are people actually looking for. So we now have three different websites. We have an Irish European, we have an English Asian, and we have an American website. So if you come onto each one, you get a different attitude, just as a complete by the by. When we were doing videos for them, we had, I had written the text and said, localize it to each of the three people who were doing them. And the Irish woman who did the public relations text said, hello, are you interested in studying public relations? Brilliant job. The English woman who was doing it for the UK site said, oh, hello there. Thinking about studying public relations then? And I thought, brilliant, you would never write it. And it was exactly, it localized it. And the American came in and went, are oh, you thinking about doing public relations? And it was so American, it was so in your face. And my two favorite words in the English language, as you've probably guessed, are world domination. I will not be happy till I dominate the world. And my husband asked me recently, what happens when I get there? And I said, hell, there's always Mars. There is somewhere else, there, is more, there are more places to go. There are more people who want the information.